Hi, I'm Stu Roberts and uh, welcome back to HeyFunkyDrummer.com. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a couple of really uh, basic things to do with reggae drumming and uh, I'd like to encourage you to think of this as merely a kind of starter pack to get you a bit more informed about what's going on uh, within reggae drumming and uh, just to encourage you to make sure that you don't just collect the beats but yeah, you also get out there, listen to some records, learn some tunes and absorb the whole music. And when you're learning a style it's incredibly important to do that because you need to start thinking about when you're in a bandstand and uh, a band start playing a tune, how are you going to respond to what you're hearing uh, around you. And uh, good musical choices can only be made with uh, a good informed knowledge of what the other instruments should be playing in a particular style, kind of what the standard repertoire is and all, all that kind of thing. So don't just collect the beats, also get into the music. But let's start with the beats because that's our basic ingredient. So we're going to talk about a reggae one drop. Now the important characteristic here with a reggae one drop is that the bass drum falls on beat three in the bar and uh, not on beat one. So uh, if we're counting a bar of four, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, when I'm clicking my fingers is where the bass drum will go. A one, two, a boom, take a one, two, boom, take a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now the hi-hats uh, sometimes they can be played straight, sometimes they can be played with a kind of shuffle, swung feeling, sometimes they'll be played somewhere in between the two and you will hear the hi-hats being played in quite an improvised manner on a lot of recordings. You know, lots of different variations and I'll, I'll demonstrate some of that for you at the end of the lesson. But the important thing here is I just want you to get the basic one drop pattern down and what that involves is just playing the hi-hat on the off beats uh, at this tempo, beats two and four. So we've got the hi-hat on two and four and the bass drum on beat three. So, one, chick, boom, chick, one, chick, boom, chick, one, chick, boom, chick, one, chick, boom, chick. Okay, so if I play that beat for you, it'll sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so once you mastered that, we can now bring in the left hand. Uh, the most obvious thing to do is to play the left hand at the same time as the bass drum, but using a cross stick. Now, if you're not sure what a cross stick is, all it is is we're going to lay the stick over the snare drum and just going to cradle it between our thumb here and our first finger and the stick looks like this. These three fingers are, are flat on the drum. I'm just going to lift my hand up so it clicks off the rim of the snare drum. So we'll have this sound. And you'll note I'm not lifting the stick entirely off the drum like that. Um, it's kind of tilting from the snare drum. So let's put that cross stick sound with the bass drum on beat three in our reggae one drop pattern. So a one. Okay, sounds good to me. Now the next thing we might want to do is actually free up the left hand and play maybe on beat one as opposed to on beat three because quite often we'll start to improvise a little bit with our left hand use some different cross stick sounds and uh, one way to do that is just to move the stick 
slightly further up the drum if you're sat at a right-handed drum kit more towards the floor tom and we'll get a, a, a different more dampened sound so check out the difference between these two acrostic sounds here's the second one so i hope you can hear a difference in sound so let's play let's play the first one in the original position and beat three in our new position with the cross stick. So we'll have Yeah, okay, and you can hear I'm starting to improvise a little bit with the right hand there and play around with some of the rhythms. So we've got that kind of skippy feeling, slightly shuffled feeling in the right hand. If you're not sure what I mean when I say the word shuffle, uh, in a very basic sense, what we're talking about is the first and third partial of a group of triplets. If you imagine quaver triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, what we have is if we play the first and third partial of each group, we have this rhythm. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. That's what we're referring to when we say shuffled. And if, that is, if you're still not sure, uh, I've also heard it described very well as uh, if you take the, uh, the nursery rhyme Jack and Jill, I'm sure you all know it, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Well, that has a kind of shuffle feeling to it. If you played that rhythm on the hi-hat, that would be pretty similar to a shuffle feel. It's a bit too straight and regimented to use in a reggae beat, but hopefully it helps you kind of get your head around what we mean when we talk about a shuffled beat. Okay, so we've got some elements of shuffled rhythm happening on the hi-hat. And uh, we've got some different crostic variations and the bass drum on beat three. So I'm going to mix all those elements up and uh, that will be the end of our lesson on a reggae one drop. So I hope you enjoy this, hope it gives you some ideas and I hope it encourages you to uh, spend some time not only learning new beats but also never forget to go out and check out some tunes, things like No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley, uh, you know, and just develop a repertoire of knowledge of songs in a variety of styles because all styles tend to cross over and the more aware you are of music generally, the more secure uh, and the more valuable your musical contributions on the bandstand will be. Okay, so here is a, a reggae, reggae one drop uh, mix up. Here we go. <laughs> 